Oh, I tell you, those Jesuits have been up to no good. Um, at Brent Spiner's Twitter page, I actually uh, decided to let all of the men that I know that are on my marriage list uh, to be on my Twitter page. And, you know, Brent Spiner's one of them. After Robin Williams died, I felt like I needed to pay attention to all of them a little bit. Anyways, you can see right here is a tweet when Brent Spiner was writing on the page. This would have been around September the 11th. This sounds like him. He's, he's kind of deprecating, humble, and he always has a really brilliant sense of humor on his Twitter page. And he's, he's a, he's a humble down-to-earth man. He's not arrogant. And you can see that when you read the tweets there. Um, he, he loves self-deprecating humor where he kind of like puts himself down. And he's actually a very humble man. Okay, now here's the Brent con continuing. Uh, this seems like him. It doesn't seem like his clone. I like this. I never discuss politics or religion with my friends. Every um, every person is entitled to his or her own set of fairy tales. <laughs> that sounds like something he would say. Um, and then he was uh, talking with Sarah Silverman, and she said, "Jewish, Muslim, Christian, all you know, atheist, whatever. I don't like people who try to kill people. That's some." Um, unexamined SHIT and apparently he, he retweeted that because uh, he liked what she said yeah yeah actually Brent and I have been in, in disagreement about guns and um, I wrote a novel as you all know Silver Skies and in the novel I'm promoting gun rights but you might the Jesuits are trying to make it appear like because Brent and I are not in agreement on that matter that we couldn't be soulmates but actually I've come around more to his line of thinking now I'm almost a Democrat now <laughs> I I've got I was so turned off by George W. Bush. Look at this page here. Um, but uh, but back in the 1990s, I was a big proponent of gun rights, and um, I mainly wrote Silver Skies to be a great love story, not to make a political political statement, though it might have done a little bit of that. Okay, here this looks like uh, Brent here. Let's see this tweet. He's got his brilliant sense of humor, self-deprecating humor. This is all him here. He hasn't, uh, uh, you know, he's, that's him. Okay, now on this page here, this sounds like Brent. He always, he is so humble. He says, hey, cool, Ben Vereen is sitting across from me. And then um, <laughs> he's just joking. This is him. Uh, you know, most of Brent's tweets are rather boring. And though I do retweet some of his stuff, like back in July, um, somebody was uh, trying to get in a religious argument with him, and he said, would you debate my wife, please? And he was referring to me, not not to Lori McBride, because Lori's not a good debater. I am, so. Uh, <laughs> I asked Brent later, I said, did you put that on your Twitter page? He says, yeah, I did. I said, boy, you were taking some chances there. You know Zach Knight ain't going to like that. And I'm going to show you something. Okay, here's another page right here. Um, yeah, this is still Brent. The reason I'm showing you Brent's Twitter page is because uh, Brent, the, the Brent Spiner clone, got on the Twitter page. And I'll tell you how I figured that out. Um, I didn't even notice it till the clone took over his page for about two weeks. Because, to be honest with you, Brent's Twitter page is kind of boring. So I don't really pay much attention to it. But the, any man who's on my marriage list, if they've got an official Twitter page, I try to connect with them just to give them a little bit of attention so they don't end up like Robin Williams. You know, I believe that possibly if I had given Robin some time, because I just totally ignored him, that maybe he wouldn't have tried so hard to marry me so, and taken the big chance for his life like he did. So he ended up getting murdered by Zack Knight. Okay, this this looks, look at that self-deprecating picture. That is just like Brent Spiner. <laughs> he, this is him so far. I'll, t I'll let you know, I have a very high emotional IQ, and I can tell when an imposter is there and not my man, especially a man I'm really close to. I'm, Brent and I are soulmates. Jesus even said that. He says, so just read what it says, or that's him so far. He's self-deprecating. He's down to earth. His jokes are genuinely funny. He is funny, and... Uh, and whenever he cracks a joke, you usually get it. You get that it's a joke, you know. You know you're not supposed to take him seriously. Okay. Um, okay, right here. Some, when I saw this, I thought, uh-oh, it's like he looks like he's running away from somebody. And he was like, see, he hasn't talked to me since August the 25th. So I thought, 
when I looked at it, sometimes I'll go to the, my men's Twitter pages to see if I can get hints about what's going on, why I'm getting silence. And when I looked at this picture, I thought, wow, are the Jesuits chasing him and he's in the dark or something? Uh, I think he was trying to give me a hint here. But um, uh, he did something that was really daring. You know, I've been making videos exposing his clone, and uh, it appears that he took a chance. A little, he got a little bit too bold, and he made Zack Knight upset. And Zack Knight's the true Jesuit leader. It's not Pope Francis or whatever his name is. <laughs> That's, Pope Francis is just a the showbiz puppet. Okay, LeVar Burton's commenting. LeVar and Brent are like this. LeVar Burton actually killed a Lori McBride clone. If you read my book, The Forbidden Abyss Part 1, you'll see that. And also the um, movie I made, Brent Spiner's Rape, at my website. Um, okay, this all this is Brent's personality. He's kind of upbeat. His humor is funny. Um, said, who's coming? I am. Hope to get a picture with you. He said, and now here he's talking about handshaking. And he said, handshaking is now officially stupid. Oh, Zach Knight didn't like it when Brent said that at his Twitter page. And Zach got back at Brent for this. The reason Brent said this, said this is I think he's fighting his clone in court. And I think they're debating on who is the real Brent Spiner, whether it's him or his clone. And oh, man, I tell you. When he said, and then he said, uh, you off your meds again? Oh, anyways, he when he made that comment, he was sticking up for me because I actually made a YouTube video where I exposed the clone because the clone went to San Diego and faked like impersonated Brent and he was shaking people's hands and going like this, you know, and I said, aha, that's the clone because Brent wouldn't do that. Brent doesn't like, Brent's a medical doctor. He doesn't like to shake hands or touch a stranger's hands. So I thought that's how I could expose their inconsistencies. Well, Zach Knight got back at Brent Spiner for daring to point this out on the Twitter page. And I'm going to show you. Okay, you just watch. Okay, now this sounds like him. He's a, he's a real generous, nice person. He says, Happy Thanksgiving to all Canadians everywhere. Okay, here's the Jesuit Brent Spiner clone. Now he shows up on Twitter. Let me tell you, you can tell. Notice the change in the tone. In the next Star Trek... He says, I miss you, my Android friend. Sorry, the answer is yes, they cannot. He's got more of a thor authoritarian tone, which is unlike Brent Spiner, kind of more, and his jokes are not funny. They're, um, he said, it's comforting, but I still wouldn't eat this SHIT. Brent is getting away from that kind of language. He became a born again Christian. He doesn't, he was actually cutting down Vladimir Putin in this. If you click on the link in the Twitter, uh, section there where he says comforting but but I still wouldn't eat this SHIT that's not Brent that's his clone Brent would never cut down Vladimir Putin at Twitter Brent and Vladimir are like this um, so that's the clone he says I'd like my epitaph to read he was occasionally nice to a couple people that's the clone Brent wouldn't Brent wouldn't say that um, this is a different person here where did I say I was uh, just read what you see on the screen. This is the clone. I've got very high emotional IQ. I can t and I'm Brent. Brent and I are soulmates. This is not Brent. The clone took over Twitter starting, you know, right about this time here. Yeah. And that picture of the face with the dog, the animal. You know what I think the clone was trying to do? I think he was trying to make it look like he was trying to torment Brent because Brent has been forced to have sex with animals in group sex with Lori McBride uh, when he was drug raped. And it torments him. It's not something he's proud of. And the clone is just bringing all this stuff out. Look at this. I don't think Brent would ever put an animal face on data in uh, any of his tweets. He doesn't think it's, it's too painful for him. It reminds him of the rape of Lori Mc, when Lori McBride raped him. He says, I'm really disappointed in our national. Surely someone has had plastic surgery today. I don't know. This is the clone. Okay? The clone's doing this. And he seems to be focused on reptiles, animals. And apparently he's taken over Brent's Twitter page and he's trying to torment. For some odd reason, Brent was not able to access his Twitter page in the middle of October. And the reason I know it is because... Uh, I just figured out today when I wanted to, I tried to retweet something at the Brent Spiner page and it wouldn't let me and it said that, that Brent had blocked me. Brent would never block me. So apparently when his uh, um, 
clone took over his Twitter page, he blocked me. And I don't, there's no reason why he should block me. I never write him. I never send him anything. I only retweet a couple of his stuff, things. So it's, I don't, even though I have my men at Twitter, I never write them. The only exception was Hugh Jackman. Um, one time he said he encouraged all of his followers to comment about their favorite movie and how it had changed their life. And so at Hugh Jackman's um, Twitter page, I sent a message saying that my favorite movie was like Jesus of Nazareth and the greatest story ever told. And when I was a young lady, it made me realize what a sinner I was and how great Jesus was and it made me want to have God in my life. And that was all, that's all, the, that has been the extent of my communication with my man. <clears throat> Talking about a female gamer, master of disguise. Now right here it looks like a mixed bag. It looks like it might be a combination of the real Brent and his clone. But this obsession with reptiles, gamers, and, and Brent never goes on Reddit. That's his clone. So he told me that. So uh, the clone took, uh, I'm just letting you know, heads up, man. Okay. There, uh, the clone took over the Brent Spiner Twitter page. And um, I'm not sure what's going on with Brent, but I suspect the silence I've been getting from Brent has been because of the clone. Um, somebody claimed uh, his answer is, uh, you know, Brent doesn't joke about reptiles, animals, and stuff like that because that freaks him out. Uh, he has he gets nightmares over how Lauren McBride raped him and and how she forced him to have sex with cats and stuff like this. So it's just it looks like the Brent Spiner start got back though today and yesterday. When I go over to look at his Twitter, I actually <clears throat> ignored his Twitter because it's most of the time it's boring. And like I said, I mainly sponsor my men at Twitter because I want to encourage them, give them a little bit of attention, so especially the ones that are kind of lower on my marriage list so they don't end up like Robin Williams. I, I really kind of feel bad about Robin Williams because I feel like maybe if I'd given him some attention, he wouldn't have tried so hard to marry me and take the chances like he did. He did that because he, um, he believed that if he... He remembered that I said that the guy who would have the guts to meet me face to face and who I could consummate the marriage with, I'd marry him, you know, whoever showed up first. So Robin was going to try to be the first one to show up. And of course, the Jesuits wouldn't allow that. They murdered him. Okay, Brent Spiner's back. Hiding. I signed an NDA, non-disclosure agreement at an audition. And then I told someone what the script was about. Only a matter of time till the police arrived. That's, that's actually funny. And he may be dropping hints to me about why he wasn't on Twitter. Apparently, he was in jail or something, you know. <laughs> you say, why? I really think Brent and his clone are in court right now duking it out. And that the clone is claim claiming to be the real Brent Spiner. I made a music album. Just read. Anybody who's got discernment, read the tweets that I'm posting up here. Now, Brent's back now. And for about the middle of October, you'll sense a distinct other personality on the Brent Spiner Twitter page, okay? It looks like Brent's back now. And I noticed his Star Trek comrades were mysteriously missing. Apparently, LeVar Burton realized that the real Brent was not at Twitter, and he just refused to talk to the clone. LeVar Burton was absent all in the middle of October. So, um, um, Anyway, Zack Knight was punishing Brent for daring to make that comment about handshaking because that verified what I said about the clone. So Zack Knight punished him. And, uh, check out the music album that I made. Oh, yeah, otherwise is that the link underneath this. Me and I heard a story of an elderly couple that got together after they'd been separated for many years and they never forgot about each other and they married in their old age and I cried. I might be able to put the link to that underneath this. And that inspired me to take out Brent's old album, Old Yellow Eyes, and sing along with it to let the world know that we belong together and that we are soulmates. And to honor our 25-year relationship with a love that is just as thrilling and exciting as it was, and even deeper and truer than when we first fell for each other back in 1990 and 1991.